There we are at Benton County Courthouse where they have a uh, ballot harvesting box. Here's Amy, my great photographer and questionnaire extraordinaire. The courts are free and open to the public, so you don't necessarily need business here to be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what you're doing or what your your deal we're, is. We're auditing all the counties to to yeah. find out. Well, the thing I can tell you is the chief justice and the county supervisors say anybody who comes to the building has to wear a mask. Okay, that's good enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah. These are security people. They don't know. So we'll go talk to the sheriff. If you thought sheriffs were bottom of the barrel, there you go. That's the real bottom. I used to be a DPS ST security guard. That's how I actually know a lot of these laws and what the police and DPS ST qualified persons can and cannot do according to their own qualifications. Back to the pups we go. Hi, guys. Just chit chatting over there with another administrative employee instead of getting a deputy like we asked. Yeah, about half of our uh, audits are spent waiting and being bored. We will post uh, raw videos to Amy here, her YouTube account. All the edited ones will be up on Polyotis.
forms for concealed carry pit permit renewal? Um, if you have any, they're going to be right down here. Yeah, if you have them, piece of paper. Nothing in there? Nothing House Bill 2929. Read that part very carefully. This law was passed this year, 2021. House Bill 2929. And they updated 181A.410, which are the minimum qualification standards for law enforcement officers. Good. So uh, we've just got some questions. Um, Can we go that, real quick? Uh, we're, we're fine in here. It's a well, public space. Correct, but we require masks when you're inside a building. Yeah, so that's actually unlawful. It's a violation of Article 1, Section 3 of the Oregon Constitution and Article 1, Section 34. So okay. Section 3 says no well, law. We have a policy within our city. So hold on. Do policies override laws? Well, we own this building. And we can ask do, you to leave. Do policies override laws? More, more specifically, do they override your constitutional rights? Okay, we're not going to get into that. So wow. you're, so you're going to act in a dishonest, immoral, and unethical manner because you don't want to get into whether or not our rights are being violated already, and then you're going to violate our rights some more. You have to wear a mask for other people, like myself, those guys. Well, see, that's part of what freedom is: is that you have the right to choose. You have to give a freedom to infect people. You know, you don't. I'm not infected. Turn it off of me. We're in a public space. You, you yeah, don't have the right to ask us that. No, I'm not on your side. That's so fine. You don't need to be. So it is a public space, but we still have a right to have rules within our public space. And they have to be constitutional, correct? And lawful. You can, you can make unlawful rules that violate the laws of the state, because I'm pretty sure under 181A.410, you guys are required to follow all laws of this state and federal laws and both constitutions. We're enforcing a law. Are you? We're enforcing a rule. Just like we can't allow people so do you know to come, the, in, come into our, our business. Do you know the definition of a rule? Do you know the definition of a rule under Oregon law? Because it's a law. They mean the same thing. Okay, I'm going to ask you to leave, and we can go outside and talk and discuss this. We will comply under duress because what you're actually performing right now is coercion. <laughs> but. Uh, pro se litigation does not require a law degree, but you know that if you read the con you should get a you Because I know the law is better than these officers here. Okay. So we're wondering why, or well, here we've actually got some written down. That's that's better. The city policy questions. You need to direct forward human resources. But as far as the departments go. So if the divisions, the, the departments within the city, mm -hmm. we all fall under the same guidelines for mass policy. Okay, so um, does the governor or the ju judges have uh, the authority to decide who has rights without due process? That would be for you, a question for you to ask a, a judge. Not well, well, if you're supposed to know and enforce the laws and we're being violated without due process, wouldn't it be you guys that enforce those laws since you're supposed to know and enforce the laws? Well, what laws are we enforcing for, for so, masks? Have we said there was a law for masks? How about this? If you're not sure what a law is. Well, you said it's a rule, which is a law. Provision of a law. It's an OAR, right? You have to look it up in order to make sure that you're acting in an honest, ethical, moral manner. Well, we have a business to operate. Right? Mm -hmm. In a lawful, honest, moral, and ethical manner. Okay. Just, so, just like I explained, if you were not wearing a t shirt, if you were shirtless, we could still ask you to leave. You could ask, yeah, but that's not unlawful either. Okay. And I'm not what what law wearing, would I be I'm breaking? I'm not saying wearing a mask is unlawful. I'm saying it's against our policy. Okay, so if it's not unlawful and I don't leave when you ask me to, what makes me trespassing if I'm not there unlawfully? 
because we have control over this property. But you just said it wasn't unlawful. And, and criminal trespass requires you to be there unlawfully, not just because somebody doesn't want you to be there. Okay. Any other questions regarding the mass policy needs to be directed to human resources at City Hall? Uh, you should really read your uh, department policy on non-discrimination. You signed a copy of a receipt saying that you received it and read it. That sign right there on the door is a violation of 659A.030 section D, which is covered in your non-discrimination policy. And it says that if you guys violate that, that you are guilty of coercion. I think we're done. Yeah. I would be too. Good luck, guys. So here we got a city of Corvallis police officer's cruiser, number 996, running undetended. Pretty sure that is a violation of their department policy. If you want to see it running really quick, just so y'all know. See the wet spot on the ground for me? Okay, oh, look at that gas. Gas caps pop too. Not a canine unit, no dog inside. Just a running uh, police cruiser. See if we can get them to read the Constitution. Mask required. Hello. Uh, so we would like to speak to a sheriff this time and report a crime. And we were also wondering if we could get copies of your uh, department policy manuals for both the sheriff's office and the uh, police. Uh, they're not posted online like they're supposed to be. Thank you. There is that. It's almost like they might have looked that one up.
would have them read the constitutional articles first and say we need to talk about some crimes that have been committed. I would like to report a crime as we were here on Friday. Yeah, um, this one was committed. You guys want to talk to somebody at the sheriff's office? Are you sure? Are you sure? No, I'm not. Let's go outside. Uh, we're, we're fine in here. It's a public space. Okay, so you're not talking to anybody in the sheriff's office. So you're telling us that we have to be removed from a public space? I'm sorry? So we have to be removed from a public space to interact with our employees? No, we can talk out here. No. That's what you're saying. We have to we have to leave in public we have to leave in public space of our choosing. This isn't a public space. Of our choosing. We have a right My choosing. Well, you're our employee, not the other way around. <laughs> I'm not your employee. You're not. Are you? What's your name? My name is Greg Riddle. I'm the under sheriff. Okay. Oh, nice. So whose employee are you? Whose employee am I? Benson County. Okay. And who is the what county? What's your name, sir? Who is the county? And my name's irrelevant. Okay. Who's you the county? You guys are going to have to leave because they're gonna, they are going to close the lobby. So. Well, we're waiting for some documents that we just ordered. <laughs> okay. Good luck. It, the, the lobby closes? Yeah. You're one armed and dangerous criminal. They close at five? Yeah, I know. He's lying to me. He's making false unsworn statements knowingly. This is what they do. The door says it closes at five. Okay. I said you're going to have to leave when it closes. Why did you have come out here all hot and defensive? I'm sorry, what was that? Why did you come out here all hot and defensive? How is that hot and defensive? Yeah. Explain, explain you didn't your see definition. your behavior from there to there? So to my behavior the was hostile? Yes, from the very beginning. I said, did Can you, you want to talk to, to the sheriff's office? Who yes. wants to talk to the sheriff's office? So, I'm assuming you've read the Oregon Constitution. <laughs> I, I would hope so. Okay. You so, know, I, I understand you guys have an agenda and you have a belief system. And that's great. I, 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 this is our that. belief system. But don't. No, we're, you don't get to tell us what we're here for, sir. No. Okay. We're, we have so to I'm here to report a crime, and if you're going to refuse to take the report on the crime, that's refusing to do your duty. I'm not refusing to do my duty, okay? Okay, but so your you're belief take... system is different than... Is it up to you to determine whether or not I'm a victim? If you're going to interrupt me, I'm not going to be able to answer all your questions the way you would like me to, so it's not going to work How are you way. determining what our belief system okay. is? You guys? Well, have, go, we go, your belief have we ever system... spoken before? So how are you going to assume what our belief system you is? You guys. Have you and I ever Congress? spoken before? Okay. You keep interrupting me. I let you 